Hey guys, Andy here, and today on Andy Japandi, I'm gonna give you a tour of my Japanese guest house coming up. All right, so first up, let's go into the Gankan. This is where everybody keeps their shoes and whatnot. Plenty of space for all your footwear needs. So for me, I am right up front. Bam, baby. Let's go ahead, take off my shoes, and put on these nice slippers. All right, let's do this thing. So over here you have Nice little bathroom. Then you have some showers over here as well as some bathrooms. Second floor also has uh, birthing pods, little capsules that you guys will see here in a sec. All right, so up here you have just a sink. Lovely view in my bathrooms, and now we're gonna get into the birthing area, living quarters. So, gotta be quiet in here, guys. No talking. So, this is where you keep like all your bathroom supplies and stuff like that for taking a shower and stuff. And in here is just a bunch of different uh, like living areas. Now, I'm gonna show you where I live, where the magic happens. So yeah, we got uh, some carpet here for uh, the entrance. I got a laundry bag, got a little storage box for like electronics and clothes and stuff, and glasses and other things. Got my uh, clothes up here, my shirts. And then moving further in, we have the big futon. This basically takes up like the whole freaking uh, living space. But I love it. It's about the size of a full-size bed back in America. Maybe a little bit smaller. Camera equipment and stuff like that. Apologies for the lighting. My main uh, computer setup, so I had to get a monitor because the uh, onboard mo monitor for uh, my laptop went out. So I bought an external monitor. Then I got all my uh, peripherals and stuff there. And then underneath, have uh, these two little boxes and that's with like my socks and underwear and stuff shower towel i got a humidifier for the uh, winter months it's very very helpful because it gets really dry in japan during the winter time and then i got a little fan which is uh very useful during this time of the year when uh, the humidity ramps back up and uh, you need to keep cool antiviral protection, some uh, hand sanitizer, Topeka's the brand. And I also got an extra bottle in here somewhere, but uh, that's between you and me. And I also have some other sanitizer over there as well. Then I got a little power tower to connect all my stuff off in there. Yeah, pretty much everything else. And here's what it looks like over this way. All right, so let's go ahead and move on up into the common areas. I love all these murals and paintings and all kinds of different stuff up in here. It's really cool. And you have more bathrooms and a shower. Then you have the kitchen area. So if you guys like to cook, this is where you'd hang out. Be sure to do the dishes too. <laughs> but yeah, they got pots, pans, rice cookers, all kinds of different stuff. They also have toasters, microwaves, a little hot pot there. And then if you uh, like to cook stuff, you could also store your dry food up there as well. Then they also have fridges, so if you like to keep things cool, that's where you keep them. Then this is like the main dining area, plenty of space. And you can just sit there and watch TV, hopefully I don't get copyright struck. <laughs> then in here you have uh, one of the little study areas, plenty of uh, space to get your work done and uh, lots of cool stuff in here as well. So yeah, let's go outside, get just a lovely view of the uh, Shinjuku skyline from here. On nice clear days, I like to go up there and uh, take pictures a bit higher up so you can get uh, more shots 
that lovely skyline out there. Just gorgeous, man. Can't beat it. So yeah guys, that was my Japanese guest house. Now, I'm sure you guys are wondering just how much do I pay to uh, live in such a wonderful place? Well, the full price for this guest house is 36,000 yen a month or about $320 American. If you get a smaller futon, then it would be 33,000 a month. And that is full price, keep in mind. Uh, there are plenty of discounts throughout the months, especially um, if you come in during a holiday like Christmas, you get very nice discounts uh, for the first month. Then the second month would be about 27,000. And then from there on out, it would be the normal price depending on what size uh, futon you have. So regardless, even at full price, I still think it's a tremendous value, especially if you're a student like myself with uh, your campus out in the Shinjuku slash Shibuya area, very close by. And I also recommend it to anybody who's just getting started out here in Tokyo. Uh, it's very conveniently located, very affordably priced, and it'll give you a chance to get some boots on the ground and actually see what Tokyo is like, see the areas that you want to explore, and uh, just get started out here. So, can't recommend this place enough. It is Guest House Tokyo. Nakano. I'll be sure to leave a link down below in the description. So if you guys are heading out to Tokyo, be sure to give this place a go. And that said, guys, this is the Andy San. Sign it for now. And as always, and forever, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.